This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this decorative border design using Inkscape. Before we get started though, if you'd like to learn everything that there is to know about Inkscape, be sure to check out my Inkscape Master Class. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over every tool and feature in Inkscape, and I explain what it is and demonstrate how it works. I'll have a link to that in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So to get us started here in Inkscape, the first thing we have to do is set up our documents. So let's come over here to File and click on Document Properties. And for this tutorial, I want to make sure the display units is set to pixels or PX. And I just want to turn off the visibility of the page border right here where it says Show Page Border and then close out of that. And then we want to come up here to where it says View. Make sure you have Custom selected. And then go to Zoom. We'll zoom in at 1 to 1. And then we'll open up the fill and stroke menu, which is located right here, or you could press Control, Shift, and F on the keyboard to open that. And then we'll open up the align and distribute menu, which is right here, or you could press Control, Shift, and A to open that. And these should be open right here. And uh, if you notice, they opened in these separate menus over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this top menu and just click and drag this like this until we get the blue activation box. So I could dock that up top, and I have this one open. So we have them both open at the same time like that. And then finally, we want to come up here to where it says Enable Snapping. Make sure you have that turned on. And the settings we want turned on for this tutorial are this one right here that says Snap Nodes, Paths, and Handles. The next one that says Snap to Paths. We're going to want to Snap to Cusp Nodes, and then Snap to Smooth Nodes as well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a square because the way we're going to approach this border design is that we're going to design the corners of it first because the corners are pretty complicated. And as, long, as, as soon as we create one corner, we should be able to duplicate it and mirror it and use it as a border that way. So let's grab the squares and rectangles tool over here. And I'm just going to uh, click and drag on the canvas. I'm going to hold Control and Shift to create a perfectly symmetrical square like that. I want to make sure that is black. I want to make sure it has sharp corners. Come up here uh, to where it says this, this icon right here that says make, corner, make corners sharp. If it's grayed out and you can't click on it, that means you already have sharp corners like I have here. If yours, if yours has rounded corners, just go ahead and click on that to make those, make those corners sharp. Now what I'm going to do is grab the select tool and I want to change the size of this to 50 pixels by 50 pixels. So I'm going to come up here between the W and the H, which is the width and the height. I'm going to turn on this lock icon right here that says when locked, change both the width and the height by the same proportions. And I want to change the width of this to 50. So I'll hit 5 and press Enter. And I want to take the opacity of this and bring this down roughly in half. Now what I want to do is duplicate this. So let's right click that and go to Duplicate. Let's make this duplicate copy red. And let's add 50 pixels to each dimension of this one. So 50 plus 50 would be 100. So let's remove that. 1, 0, 0 and press Enter. And now I want to lower that beneath the original square. So I'm going to come up here to where it says lower selection one step. Or what I like to do is just press page down on the keyboard and it'll, it'll lower it beneath the black square. And then I want to click and drag over both of those and just center them up on the uh, vertical and horizontal axis like that. And as I mentioned previously, you've got to make sure you have last selected chosen from this drop down. Otherwise, uh, you may end up with a different result here. Okay, so once we've done that, let's click off of that to deselect everything. Let's create another copy of this square here. So let's click on the red square. Let's duplicate that. Instead of right clicking it and going to duplicate, we'll just press Control D on the keyboard. And I'll make that copy black. And I will add another 50 pixels to this one. So this one would be 150 like that. And then I will lower that to the bottom with this button up here that says lower selection to the bottom. Or we could press the end key on your keyboard. Let's press end. There we go. And then I'll center this up as well. Click and drag over all of that to select it. Center it up vertically and horizontally like that. Click off of it to deselect everything. And now what I want to do is create a rectangle coming down here, like an arm coming, extending down from this square. So I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit so I can see it better. To zoom in, I'm just going to hold control and roll up the mouse wheel a few times. To move the page around like this, just press down the mouse wheel and move the mouse. And let's grab the uh, rectangles and squares tool. Let's snap to this top left corner. Click and drag, and then snap to this bottom corner over here like that. And then we'll convert that to a path by going to Path, Object to Path. And then let's take the Select tool. Let's take this bottom arrow right here and just bring this down like that. We want to bring that down. Let me zoom out. I'm going to press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. And once we've done that, let's create a duplicate of that by pressing Control D. And let's hold Shift and click on this little square right here in the middle, in the middle and center this up according 
to the, uh, actually no, instead of centering it, we're going to align the left edges. So click on the button that says align left edges, click off of it to deselect everything, and let's create another copy for up here, up top. So let's take this copy right here, control D to duplicate it, rotate this 90 degrees like that with this button right here that says rotate selection 90 degrees clockwise, and then hold shift, click on the large black square in the background there. We're going to align top edges and align left edges like that. Now click off of it to deselect. De Take a copy of this right here, click on that, control D, hold shift, click on the smaller black square in the middle there, and let's align the top edges again so that we end up with this right here. Now we can click off of this to deselect everything. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take this large black square right here, I'm gonna duplicate that by pressing control D. I wanna make this one red. And again, we are going to add 50, to 50 pixels to each dimension. So let's come up here and change this from 150 to 200. And I want to make sure I have this centered up above the other, the other squares here. So let me move this off to the side. I'm going to hold shift, click on one of these squares, and then just center it up on the vertical and horizontal axis like that. Click off of it to deselect everything. And now what you want to do is take this red square right here, duplicate it by pressing Control D, Hold shift, click on this rectangle right here, and go to path, difference. And then we'll do the same thing over here for this one. Take this red square, only this time we're not going to duplicate it. We're just going to take that as it is. Hold shift, click on this rectangle right here, path, difference. And now what we want to do is duplicate this object by pressing control D, and then just bring this one down here like that. Now we'll take this little leg right here, control D to duplicate it. Bring this one up here like that. And now I want to make it so that these two, I want to clip off the, um, the little, the two little tails that are extending beyond the uh, border there. So to do that, let me zoom in. I'm going to hold control, roll up the mouse wheel, grab the edit pads by nodes tool, which is the second tool down from the top up here. Click and drag over these two nodes and then hold control and just click and drag them both straight up like that until they snap onto the edge of that rectangle. We'll do the same thing over here. Take this, click and drag over those two, hold control, click and drag until it snaps over there like that. And now we can zoom back out. Let's go to the select tool. Let's click and drag over everything so we have it all selected. And now we just want to deselect this black square and deselect this red square. So to do that, I'm going to hold shift, click on that black square to deselect it. Hold shift again, click on this red square to deselect that. And now what we have selected, we just want to unify it. So to do that, go to Path, Union. And now I want to hold Shift, click on this red square, go to Path, Difference. Now if we press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%, we can click and drag over everything here, bring the opacity all the way up, and you could even unify it together by going to Path, Union. And now we have a corner to use of this decorative border. So let's go ahead and create an actual border around something using this. So I'm just going to scale this down a little bit. I'm going to hold control and shift and scale this down. I'm going to create like a little rectangle on the uh, canvas here. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool, click and drag to create a rectangle like this. Maybe I will make this a different color, like uh, something like a light green. And I want to use this object right here as a border around this red rectangle. So let me grab the select tool. Let me take this corner. Let me bring this over here. It's layered beneath the uh, the green rectangle. So I'm just going to come over here to where it says raise selection to the top. And I want to place this in the corner up here like that. Okay. Now I want to duplicate this control D to duplicate it. Bring this down here. Let's flip this vertically like that. Put this over here like that. Snap that into this corner. And let's take both of those right there. Right click, duplicate. Now let's flip these horizontally and bring these over here like this. Okay, now in order to close these in, all we have to do now is let's click off of that to deselect everything. Let's grab the edit paths by nodes tool. Let's click on this border right here. And I'm just going to take these nodes over here. I'll probably, I should probably zoom in on this so you can see it better. Click and drag over these nodes right here and then just bring them over to this object right here like that. We'll do the same thing over here. Take these nodes, bring them straight up like that. Hold control so it locks it onto the vertical axis. You can either snap it on there like that, or you could just hold control and bring them into so that it protrudes into the other one like that. And I prefer doing it that way because if you don't, if you snap them like that, you'll notice if you zoom out, there's a little bit of a, a disconnect between the two. Probably difficult to see it on my screen, but I can, I can see it pretty well. Okay, so let me fix that. 
bring that up further. And I'll do the same thing right here. I'll take this, bring this in over here, hold control, bring that to that side. And then the same thing right here, take that, bring that to that side like that. And there you go. Okay, and using that method, you can use that method to apply this border to any rectangle you'd like. So uh, I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can go about creating this simple decorative style border using Inkscape. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.